Hello and welcome. My name is Fabian. I'm working in the product management team at Omicron. In this video, we're going to explore the new features of CMC Swift together. The highlight of this release was the face identification support together with Depot 3, which can help to improve existing polarity check workflows. Let's check it out. Let us begin with the most interesting feature highlight of CMC Swift and explore together how to prepare a CMC test set for three phase polarity checks. Three phase polarity checks can be performed in combination with the new CPOL3 handheld polarity environment checker. You might be curious how this is working. The CMC test set generates a CPOL polarity check signal with additional phase identification information commonly known as face ID. The CPO3 can encode this signal and indicates with a number of dots whether if it is phase 1, phase 2 or phase 3. Even when using an older version of CPO, it can still accurately detect the polarity. By default, asymmetric values are outputted. Nevertheless, you have the freedom to configure the amplitude and angle of each phase, even during execution. The C Pro 3 not only indicates the correct or wrong polarity, but also measures the RMS values. This can help to contribute to a better quality and higher efficiency of polarity checks. The next feature worth to mention is that the new update supports flexible routing of residual voltage and current signals. Let us have a look how we can configure residual signals in CMC Swift. To begin, we must activate additional current and voltage outputs of the selected CMC test set. Navigate back to the previous page. In this page, you can activate a neutral voltage transformer and if needed, the ratio settings can be entered accordingly. The same applies with using a neutral CT. Obviously, the CT ratio and neutral CT ratio can be adapted. In this example, we configure the current output B2 as the residual current signal. After completing the configuration, you can work with automatically calculated residual signals in the quick output page. Beside the usual performance and stability improvements, we also reworked the user interface for choosing the CMC test set. In case of feedback, don't hesitate to use the in-app functionality to get directly in contact with us. If you haven't already downloaded CMC Swift today, it's free of charge on the Google Play or Apple App Store. Try out our app and have fun exploring the new features. Thanks for watching.